Um, hello, everyone. Uh, we need to talk about Safe Moon. And this is pretty important. We need to talk about the fact that people are stressing about this way too much. You guys need to relax, okay? I think there's way too many people that are being overly critical of what's going on. And when you focus on something on a short time frame, you're only looking at a small part. And you got to really focus on the bigger picture here. And so I'm going to try and be the voice of reason for you guys in this video I highly recommend that you watch this video through. I'm not going to make it very long. And if you think that other people would find this video to be helpful, then, you know, please share it. Share it on Twitter. Share it on the subreddit for SafeMoon. I'm on there sometimes in the Discord, whatever. So please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing, it's my own opinion. And I always encourage you guys with all this stuff that you do your own research. So if you look at the bigger picture, Crypto as a whole has been having some issues the last couple months. The last several days in particular, Bitcoin has been taking a severe beating. We're seeing some of the big whales, the biggest whales for SafeMoon doing large sell-offs, and people are getting discouraged. A lot of people seem to have this mentality where they think that, well, when you look at Bitcoin and you look at Ethereum and you look at Doge, people say, hey, what's going to be the next thing? And then you hear about SafeMoon and you want to jump on in and you want to be a part of it and you're looking like you're going to be making some quick money because you hear other people are making quick money as well. Well, life doesn't necessarily work like that. It can, but you got to be at the right place at the right time and there's a lot of luck with it. So you have to learn about patience with these kinds of things. And investing is a patience game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. There's no guarantee that this will succeed that safe moon will go off to the moon and be full parabolic i hope so i've got a lot invested into it so i really believe in the project a lot and when i say i've i've put a lot of my position in i've sold off or traded technically some of my bitcoin to move over and to increase my position for safe moon so that's how i personally feel about it and i think that it's also important that you focus on what's called the law of attraction and, you know, if you guys have Netflix, you can go watch this documentary on there, and it's called The Secret. It's an older documentary, but it's a basic principle idea, and it is basically the idea that you're attracting your thoughts. So, for example, if you say that my life is horrible, and I'm poor, and my life sucks, you know, and all that kind of stuff, well, yeah, you're going to get more of that. And what people also make the mistake of is they say things like, oh man, I don't want Safe Moon to be down anymore. Well, you're thinking about Safe Moon being down. That's a core component of that thought. So you're contributing more to that situation. Oh man, I don't want crypto to be down anymore, right? Try and change your perspective on these things. And one way you could do it, instead of thinking like the entire market, maybe your concern is that well, my one independent thought isn't going to sway the entire market, right? But we do know that the market is volatile. It can go up and down. Maybe think about what your position is. If you have the opportunity to try and increase your bag, you can dollar cost average. A lot of people don't realize this. But if you bought when the price was up here, and now it's way down here, you can buy some down here, and it's going to drop your normal price that you had up there lower. So you can actually break even sooner and it continue to grow up, uh, to go and, and continue to move forward, right? And so that's if you believe in the project. That is also if you have the opportunity to be able to spend that. So another thing you could say is, well, I don't have the money to be able to invest more into SafeMoon. There are other options. I mean, that's the problem. Look for the solution and try and evaluate this with all the stuff. What is the problem that's going on in your life right now and what is the logical solution to that problem? And if there's something that seems out of reach, is there something that is an alternative? Or is there now a series of steps that you can figure out in order to get there? Make sense? So you really need to paint a bigger picture with all of this. You have to learn to be patient with this. And my point is that when you're looking at your own 
portfolio, your own assets. You can say, hey, I want, just for example, one billion safe moon. And if you feel like that's something that you could actually be able to work towards, stay focused on that. Because the actions that you're going to be doing are going to be driving you towards that goal. And this is just one example. I'm using this in reference with SafeMoon. But overall, you can use this with other things in your life. Set a goal and try and figure out what routes you need in order to get that goal, to make that dream into a reality. It's, it's one thing to say, I want this, and to believe that you can get it. And it's another thing for you to say, okay, I want this. How can I get this? What do I need to have happen in order to get this? What do I know that I can do right now? And what do I need to change in order to be able to get these other things that are not currently available to me? And when you start doing that, you'll start to see these impacts in your life. You'll start feeling much more happy. You're going to have better relationships. Your financial situation is going to improve. All this kind of stuff. So one example I can give you is myself. I want to be able to have more money to put into investments so that if it does take off, I have more financial security much sooner in my life. And so by doing that, I'm looking to alternative avenues of revenue in which I can actually have more creative control. I can also enjoy it. I'm an artistic guy. Hey, something like YouTube seems to be a good avenue for me. I'm doing game development. If that continues to take off, that's another avenue for me as well. I'm working on trying to build residual income. I want to be able to have the flexibility of time to go off and do the things that I want to do and have my past work continue to produce results that will keep funding me. And then also having my investment portfolio where the flexibility, if it goes up or down, whatever happens, I have another source of income. And that's so important with the golden rule of investing. Just remember this. Never invest more than what you're willing to lose. Okay? So you got to be patient with this stuff, guys. It does take time. People go on Twitter. They say things like it was a good project. It would already be listed on Binance. Safe Moon is a scam Ponzi. Put the highest price in Times Square ads and slowly rug pull. People just keep saying these negative things. Be careful who you listen to. This is one of the biggest things that I want you to take away from today is it's your money, not theirs. If people are telling you how you should be investing your money, are they a financial advisor? If they're not a financial advisor, then why would you listen to them? It doesn't make any sense. And you can make other relatable things with that. I'm not going to go on to that because some people might take it the wrong way which is stupid but I just I know how people are anyway maybe one of you is watching and you can kind of be like All right, I think I know where he was going to go with this but anyways look at this just for example safe moon is trending right now right down below my webcam here you can see it business and finance trending I'm in the United States why is safe moon trending what's going on did the wallet come out no did the blockchain come out no is there any other significant news? No. So with as strong of a community as we have, with nothing significant going on right now, it's still got enough people behind it backing the idea to get it trending on Twitter with everything else that's going on out there and it's trending under the category for business and finance. That is amazing. And I really hope you guys understand that because Ethereum has a major update that's coming out in just a couple of days. And the fact that SafeMoon is even on the radar while that stuff is taking place, while the activity is going on with Bitcoin, and you've got Gary Gensler and what his talk was today with Bitcoin and every this is huge. This is one of those good signs. Focus on the positive. You hear these negative things. If you want to try and respond and educate them or something, take a moment. Feel free to do so. If they're not willing to listen, it's not worth your time and energy. You did your part move on. The time that you invest is either moving towards your goals or it's moving towards somebody else's. Really think about that. I believe in this project. I've got really good faith in it. Be patient. That's all I got for this episode, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to be a part of the community and hit subscribe. I cover a lot of content. 
you should check out my video. All of them. <laughs> I do good content. I talk about AMC stock as well. I've talked about theories with SafeMoon. I've talked about hypothetical scenarios, what would need to take place in order for it to hit certain goals. And I use empirical data to help back up these claims. I use mathematics on some of the stuff too. I got referral links in the description if you want to earn free cryptocurrency or stocks. Let us know in the comments how you got, you know what, not how you guys feel. I just want to see positive comments. Say something positive that you're looking forward to that SafeMoon will be able to help provide you in your future. Share something that you can write down right now. You might be having thought about it, but you need to manifest it. You need to try and bring it into the real world. And one of the first steps that you can do, that small action, is to actually write it down. Write it down inside the comment section. You want to take another step? Write it down with a piece of paper and a pen. Have it somewhere nearby. Your why. Why you're doing this. Why you invest. What you're hoping to get out of it. Let us know in the comments down below, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. And especially, I would love it if you guys share this video. Let's get more people out there and really change a perspective for people, not just for Safe Moon, but just their life in general. I want to see everyone do well, succeed, be kind to each other, and continue to grow. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next episode.